going on guys Joe here for gamer toys welcome back to another pickup video let's get right into it let's start with some mail. all right so I got some more vintage turtles from uh, my homie on Instagram toys for sale check them out first up here we have pro pilot Don here he is right here uh, this is a really cool figure toys for sale was like clearancing the rest of his like stock out at like five bucks a pop so I picked up a couple more it's just an awesome looking figure. I love the sculpt on this guy. All the stuff on his suit looks really awesome. And uh, he comes with his fighter helmet. He has a parachute looking thing and some kind of like paper airplane gun thing and an American flag. America. I think this is how you put everything on here. So you got Pro Pilot Don. He looks pretty sweet with all of his accessories. Uh, five bucks. Can't go wrong. Uh, his belt came undone here, but we had Make My Day Leonardo, which is a pretty cool figure. He's got a shell for a badge. I'm trying to get this belt on, damn it. There we go. He has um, some snakes hanging from his belt here. He's got some bullets and some pouches. Um, he comes with uh, like little police batons as nunchucks. He has a riot shield. And uh, he's got a gun that says Make My Day. So here's Leo with his gun and his shield, and he actually has a little place uh, holster on the belt for the battering ram nunchuck, or not battering ram, for the uh, police baton nunchuck things. Once again, five bucks. It's a pretty cool figure. Um, I'm pretty sure he's complete. I'm not 100% sure on all of these like variants later in the line. I know they some of them came with a lot of stuff, but um, for five bucks, you can't go wrong. So make my day, Leo. So even though I've watched these, I haven't shown them off, and I kind of wanted to. I picked up a set of the uh, de-specialized editions um, on Blu-ray. They went through these movies and restored them to like their original theatrical release with like updated to like 4K and stuff. It's it's pretty sweet. So I got the basic set. Um, the covers are just printed on regular like cardstock, and uh, the discs look pretty sweet. So that's Star Wars. There's Empire disc art there. I don't know if you can see. It's probably blurry. It's got Luke's X-Wing on it. And, uh, Return of the Jedi with like the Revenge of the Jedi poster on the back. And this disc art has the Death Star, the Star Destroyer right there. For anyone who may be interested, I paid I think 40 bucks or 45 bucks shipped for this set. Next up, I finally found her. Ellie Sattler of the uh, Jurassic World Legacy line or the Legacy Collection, should I say. She comes with like the flashlight thing that she used in the movie and of course a copy. You're walking into a Target, walk down the aisle, and she was actually hanging on the front of the pegs. I was just really surprised to see her, so I snagged her up in a heartbeat. So I'm actually looking for a couple more because my son wants one to go with his Grant and his Jeep. And then I'm also looking for one uh, for Tom from Bizarro's Pieces. So Tom, if you're watching, I'm on the hunt, man. But I found one. Continuing on with some Star Wars here. Not that she's hard to find, but I picked up Kira from Solo. It's a pretty cool figure. I kind of love how the outfit looks like, you know, like a straight up 80s outfit. I love it. It looks like something someone would have worn Terminator or something like that. I don't know. It's kind of what it reminds me of. I'm really hoping this movie is great uh, to make up for my heartache from The Last Jedi. And then I also grabbed the two pack of the Kessel Guard and Lando Calrissian because anything with Lando in it I'm a sucker for now and this Kessel Guard looks like some kind of crazy samurai which I absolutely love I love the detail on the outfit I love all the colors and the sculpt work it's just great and then last but not least I picked up the Mimban I don't know if it's Mimban or Mimbin but I picked up the Stormtrooper also from Solo this is Kind of like a super dirtied up Tatooine looking stormtrooper with a black cape. I'm telling you, you put capes on stormtroopers and it just makes them a hundred times cooler. The first time I saw him as I'm filming this now was today and I snagged him up. Uh, just a really cool figure. I don't remember seeing him online as being part of the first release. So when I saw him hang on the peg, I was kind of surprised. So really happy to grab him. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this episode of Pickups. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.